Hey everybody, it's Tim McCamus. Uh, I'm going to touch base with uh, you on some fastener fastening. So we got some quarter turn fasteners and I want to show you how to fasten those properly to the panel. So we've been doing a little series on some uh, different fasteners and some tools and some operational procedures. So just wanted to lay out some of the uh, things that we have that we use every day that uh, are available for you guys to use. Um, when you're putting your car together or you're doing a little maintenance or you're doing a mid-season tune-up, um, you know, it's, uh, it's the, end of the, the end of June right now, so we're going to get into the middle of the season. So it's a good time to look over. You guys have been running since uh, maybe March or April, and uh, some of your fasteners might need a little tune-up on the car. They just get loose and they, um, they start popping out and, and you need to maintenance that stuff. So I've went over some ideas on how to adjust them but uh, we also need to replace them sometimes or we're putting a new project together and we're putting in new fasteners. So these are our self ejector uh, quarter turn fasteners, okay? So they, um, this little panel here needs to be fastened into the body or, or an interior panel. So we have a selection of, we, we use solid rivets for these and uh, we've got them in gold and in silver and black. So depending on uh, your application, if you're using the, the blacked out Zeus's, we like to use these. Um, this one, this application here, we would use these natural finished ones. And then um, for our gold zinc plated quarter turn fasteners, we're gonna use these. So these are, these are just, a, this is an aircraft rivet and it's a solid uh, button head. Okay, so these come in flat head or button head. We use the button head for all the fasteners. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this like this. Now you guys are fam probably familiar with a pop rivet um, which has a mandrel in the center of a little tubular body and that mandrel has a knot on the end of it like a, a kind of a bulb head and that you pull that up through the center of that tube and it spreads that out and then at a certain point up here when it gets enough tension it breaks off and then you have that um, that empty tube with the uh, with the little head inside there holding this tight. Well, pop rivets, uh, they have their place and they're, they're good for springs and stuff, but they don't really hold well on this type of fastener because of the environment that they're in. So these little solid um, rivets do really well. So these have to be um, what's called bucked or smashed from the backside. Um, some guys call these smash rivets, but they're, they actually buck these from the backside to to swell them out and to make a head similar to the top on the backside, okay? So to do that, you need a variety of tools. Um, depending on the location in the car, um, you can use different tools for that job. So the first thing you have to do is uh, get the length right. So what kind of the, um, we, do, we use these a lot, so we just, and we eyeball it, but the, the rule is is that one and a half times the thickness of the panel is what you want sticking out of the backside. So, for instance, if you have, you know, if you're going through the, the exterior body panel here, maybe a front end or something, you would want one and a half times that thickness sticking out. So, um, you're going to use something like this. This is a rivet cutter, and what this is, like a little... Um, slide cutter there that cuts that off nice and straight. Now these are soft and you can use um, dikes or wire cutters to cut these off but the problem is is you get a you get a point so when you cut them off you get a beveled point and then on this edge out here it flares it out so it doesn't want to go back in the hole right so so when you cut them with dikes because they're soft it, it actually almost flattens the end out. So then it doesn't want to go back in this hole, okay? So the nice thing about these is you put this in the hole here for the eighth inch, and then once you get your, you know, it's gonna cut here in this groove, and that's what these little flappers are for here. You can set your height, like if you, let's say we're gonna set it there, we can lock that down. And if you, um, if you do a bunch of these, you can just leave this set like this, and you just pop them in there and then cut this off. So now I've got that set in there. So when I cut that, so see it, it's cut it off nice and square on the end. 
and it didn't flare it or didn't change the shape of the end of it. So then it goes back in the hole nice and smooth so you don't have to jack with it and it doesn't have this pointed end of it off. So with that, now um, we have to buck this backside. And what we want to do is try to form this backside so that it's somewhat shaped like the front side so where it's going to swell out. And we have different tools for that. So um, this is a, um, a rivet setter and it comes with these little dies here and you can see these uh, there's dies for each side you can use um, you can use this one for this this side here or actually this one fits better so this fits that nice there it fits in that head and, it, and then it keeps the head nice and round because if you if you back this up with something flat it's just going to smash it flat so these little uh, dies fit in here on each end. So you've got a, a hole in each end here and you can, you can put a flat one in one side depending on which area you're going to. Now, this one is only good. This is uh, a minimal throat depth here. So these are good for panels that um, the fastener is only gonna be so far in from the edge because you can only get from here to here. So you probably got about maybe an inch and a half or so. Yeah, about an inch and a half is as far as you're going to be able to get in. So far, um, panels farther than that, we make this little tool here, which backs that up. So let's say we're going to be close to the edge and want to use this tool. Um, you can put this die in to back this head up, and you can either use a flat die or you can use this semi-rounded one on this back side. This one here would work good because it'll give you a little rounded head on the back. And you're going to use this tool, and as you put that in there, you're going to squeeze that together. And then this is adjustable here. You just crank this out for your depth. So as you get it, want to get it tighter, you can just turn this out and get it close to where you want it for your depth, and then just squeeze it. And it's going to drive these two dies together, and then basically it's going to just swell this backside out. So if I'm doing this on a panel that I can't get to it from the edge, I'm out a little farther from the edge um, and I can't reach it with that, I'm going to use this and then I'm going to use just a, um, like a body hammer or a, or a nice smooth face ball peen, like a small ball peen. So it's going to take, um, uh, your buddy's going to have to help you with this, but you're going you're gonna to drill the holes and then you're going to cut these to length and then this is going to back this side up, okay? And then so this panel fastener is in the front end and then this is going to back this up just like this. And then we're going to take a, a nice domed face body hammer or a ball peen and we're just going to tap this. And you don't have to hit it hard. These are soft and you're just going to tap it, tap it, tap it. And it will swell out and flatten out until it's flush with the back side of that panel. And now it's got the similar head to this on the back side, but it'll be flat because you've been hitting it with that hammer and it'll be nice and tight in there. It'll suck that thing down tight and it won't vibrate loose. So as long as you get the right length um, and get enough of the head on the back side, this, this panel fashion will be in there for good. I mean, it won't move and it won't vibrate out. So that's a little bit of a rundown on what we use that for. Um, this tool is really handy just to throw in your toolbox and then have some of these uh, rivets extra. These are easy to drill out to um, because they're soft so if you have one that um, maybe this side came loose or the whole uh, rivet came out and, and you need to get this out of here you can just start right in the center here with an eighth inch drill bit and just easily um, use like a variable speed battery drill and just start in the center there and just zip that out once you get that hole started you can just pop that right out of there and push that body out um, so these are, are really easy to use and they're very good for the, for the application because they, they withstand the vibration and they, and they give you a nice tight fit. So um, if you have the right tools, they're very easy to manage. If you try to do it with uh, uh, a, a, just a regular hammer and you try to peen it over on the back side, um, you're gonna flatten this head out and it's gonna look like ass on this top side. But, um, so you want to use something that's got a little dome in it to back that up properly so that it, you get a nice smooth finish after you're done. And then your finished product, you know, is going to look something like this. So it'll be really nice 
finish and uh, it'll, it'll be nice and tight and it, and it does really withstand the vibration well and it'll last for a long time as long as it's not mistreated. So again, we've got uh, different colored uh, rivets to match up to the fastener that you want. We've got the uh, tools to, uh, to buck that over. We've got cutters. We've got this little T-handle tool. These are all really nice to have and um, you can you can do every application on the car with just this little setup right here. So this will manage all of these solid rivets on any portion of the car.